All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G here with Coffee and Crossout. Today we're doing something different. We are talking about all the different armor parts in game. We're going to talk about what ones work well for what and don't work well for other things. And we're going to talk about structure to mass ratio. So we've got all these different kinds of armor bits that you unlock with the different factions. And we're going to go over all of those parts because we've got them all sitting right here. Let's do it one faction at a time. So the first faction you're going to get is the engineer faction. And they actually have really good parts. They've got good parts with a good uh, structure to mass ratio, meaning that for how heavy they are, they provide you a fair amount of durability. I'm going to still call it structure because I've been calling it that forever. But yeah, it's durability. So the engineer parts are actually pretty decent. You know, a big part like Van Door weighing 196 kilograms gets you 86 points of durability. That's not too shabby. Let's find something else with around 196 kilograms. What's this? 130 only gets you about 54. This one gets us, you know, almost 40% more. That's what we're going to be looking at. So we've got engineers. We've got the uh, the new faction there. What are they called? I'm so sleepy. Uh, fire starters, those guys. We've got what else? We got we got ooh, we got nomads. We've got Don's children. We got scavengers. We've got Steppenwolves, and we've got lunatics. Now they're kind of organized, and we've also got bumpers, which are gonna be their own category in and of themselves. So, the new faction, Firestarters, have really good mass to structure ratio, meaning that they're not terribly heavy, but the amount of structure you're going to get from their parts is pretty good, and they just, they look really nice, which is, which is a huge bonus. Um, but probably the most powerful structure parts in game are the ones that you think are the least powerful, which are lunatic parts. These are the lightest parts in game, but they have some of the best structure to mass ratio you can get for the, for their weight they're giving you a lot um, their power score has actually been bumped up a little bit to reflect this and Gaijin has been working on patching this so that heavier armor is better but still even after patching it uh, lunatic armor is going to be good on any build you're building whether you're making something heavy or you're something fast if you've got the parts to do it it makes great spaced armor but also just filling in any gaps any of that kind of thing it's just it's light and it gives you good structure. And the next thing we need to talk about are parts like this, like grill-based parts. You look at this and you're like, oh man, this thing only has a durability of 8 points, or 8 points, or 16 points. Well, with parts like this that have holes in them, you're like, that's weird. Um, let's take my favorite one, for example. The old, where is it? Where is it? Why is the gun mount not showing up? Well, is they not calling it that anymore? Well, these parts, you can shoot through these parts. Um, meaning that small arms fire and machine gun fire uh, you know, are resistant to this. And the reason I'm not seeing that part is because it's on my build right now. Um, this one. I use this one a lot. Gun mount. It's one of the biggest, like, frames that you could use. And right there it says, wire frame gun mount can be shot through. Yes, it can. Um, and it resists explosion damage. Big fail I did here, though, was I've only got my hammer fall mounted to one part. I should have used, like, a, a, a brace or something, you know, another part. So it's mounted to at least two parts, but I didn't. Um, all right, next up we have Nomads, which are really good for whatever you're building. They're kind of the medium faction, but their master structure ratio is pretty good. I'm going to actually put a link that gives you all the master structure stuff in the description. You can take a peek at it. Um, so most of the nomad stuff, I got it on my other screen here. Where is it at? You know what? I'll just put it up for you guys. We'll look at it here. So you can see some of the best stuff right here is buggy grills coming in at 0 0.7 and 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Now we're talking durability per kilogram here. Grills, ridiculously good, over one. Gun mount, 1.18. Radiator grill, ridiculously good durability per kilogram. Um, we've also got power score in here. Now, things that are really terrible. The heaviest armor has the worst durability to structure ratio, coming in at only 0.25. Thank you, Sparkles uh, Bourbonator, for making this spreadsheet. It's on our Discord pinned in the build section. Um, so all of this stuff, all the heavy armor, has a really, it's just really heavy for what you get out of it. Um, now here we're looking at all of the uh, 
the bumpers. Now the thing is the bumpers have great durability to mass ratios, but they don't add to your HP pool, which is a bummer. So we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so let's get back to peeking around at armor. So yeah, Nomad stuff, it's great. And they've got lots of different shapes. Like I love to use this AV Offender right here. It's like a wheel well. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we can use some of these for. I use that one a lot. Um, you can see I've got all kinds. I've got Lunatics on here. Not Lunatics, that's Firestarters. I've got Steppenwolf and parts, and I've got Nomads. But I probably use Nomads the most often. I use these Van Doors at the back because you don't need a lot of armor at the back because you're not supposed to get shot in the back. You're supposed to get shot in the front. And then we've got Lunatic stuff. Anywhere we can fill in gaps and we need lightweight stuff. Honestly, though, I should be spreading my armor out and doing more spread armor. Now, we've got compact armor here. Steppenwolf. Not very efficient uh, durability per kilogram. But it looks really good. And if you need a lot of armor in one spot, uh, that's what you're going to want to use for that. Now, we've got Nomads and Step. So, back in here, dun, 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 we've covered Nomads. Don's Children. They have okay... Um, durability per structure ratio but you know not great but they have some interesting shaped parts that you can't find everywhere now the first faction i ever leveled when i when i did cross out because i was thinking hey i want to make heavy builds was scavengers least efficient parts they're just gonna make you way too much and honestly your compact armor isn't going to be as effective as spaced armor anyway but sometimes you need it maybe you're making something super heavy and you've got the tonnage and the mass yeah truck doors your go-to this little truck slope great part these pipes, fantastic part. Sometimes you need to armor frames and you need all that weight right there. Now, perhaps the sexiest and best looking armor in the game, uh, Steppenwolf. Slightly more efficient than Scavengers, but still pretty heavy, pretty inefficient, but they've got some great triangular pieces to just make your tank builds look really nice and look really slick. And then back down here, we've got bumpers. So you need to make a, a trade-off when you decide you want to put bumpers on a build. Like, for example, my really heavy mammoth builds lately, I've been debating, you know, whether to do them at all. Cat Plays Games has been really helping me with my build stuff. Let's take this one, for example. So, Big Papa. We had the weight. You know, we had the weight to put the train plow on it, but we could pull that because it's not adding to our overall durability. I can take it off. Durability unaffected. Because all of that 416 points it has of durability only applies to itself. It doesn't add to our overall hit point pool. We could take that off and we could add another thousand kilograms of armor to this thing nearly. Now this build has compact armor, mostly. It's just pretty much compact. We just, look at that, just truck door, truck door, truck door. Now that's going to get, all that's going to take damage when a shell hits right here, boom, it explodes. All those parts are going to take damage. All my HP uh, is going to take damage from my whole HP pool. Now spaced armor, like take a look at the clan war. The Clan War Hover we did, load that up. You're going to see they use almost exclusively, almost exclusively Lunatic parts and Firestarter Faction parts and the Engineer parts. Anything that's light takes up a lot of space because, for example, let's say, let's say two tsunamis fire and hit here and those explode here. Well, look at the distance here. They're not going to do any damage back here. They might do a thousand points of damage, but these parts maybe only have a durability of 150. So that's 900 just wasted damage. Where if we were back on my last build, this one, uh, it would take all that damage. All of those parts would take that thousand damage because it's compacted armor. But man, it looks really good. And then let's see, what faction have we forgotten about? No, we've covered it. And there's, there's Bumpers, Steppenwolf, Scavenger, Nomads, Engineers, and Lunatics and Firestarters. So really, honestly, Lunatics, Firestarters, some of the best. Engineer stuff that you start off with, some of the best, too. Middle of the road is Nomads, good to go. Don's Children, specialty parts, make it look futuristic. Uh, scavengers, use them when you really need to protect something, or you just have tonnage and mass, and you don't know what to do with it, and you just want to max out armor, go for it. You know, Use the long pipe shields to protect frames or mount other things to them. The large fenders make great gun mounts. Hide a gun inside there. When you want your build to look pretty and militaristic, go with Steppenwolf. And when you just need to, you know, protect yourself from melee damage or give out melee damage, well, there's your bumpers. This was Mr. G just kind of giving you an armor rundown. We will uh, we'll try and link that document into the description if I can share it. Sparkles will give me the share. We'll see. Um, you guys can check out the uh, 
durability to kg ratios on all these different parts but just something to think about next time you build like hey what faction do i want to level there you go that was my best job i am no expert at this i'm still learning hope this was helpful if it was throw us a like if you're new throw us a sub hope to see you around the channel mr g out